Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about pre-workouts and how you can prevent yourself from getting addicted to pre-workouts. Guys, I know the life, all right? The life, the fitness life, the bodybuilding life, the bro life of taking pre-workouts. I know that the whole supplement industry has somewhat trained us to think that we need our pre-workouts. You see the hot babes taking a pre-workout on Instagram, doing their booty workouts, right? You see the ripped jack dudes taking their pre-workout and hitting PRs on their benches and their squats and their vascularity in their arms and all of that. Back in high school, I started the whole workout game. I used to be, I wouldn't say I was addicted to pre-workouts. I was taking pre-workouts religiously. All right, I'd be praying to the pre-workout gods for a great workout. Obviously, I'm just kidding. But back in high school, there was this thing called No Explode. All right, I would take No Explode every day. All right, and on the carton, it actually says, take it twice a day. Take one in the morning and then take it one before your workout. And when I say one, I mean one scoop. They would even say that you should take pre-workouts when you don't even work out. They would say, take it 30 minutes before your first meal. So what is a pre-workout for? A pre-workout is basically a caffeine boost all right it's a caffeine boost to get us mentally psychologically whatever spiritually physically ready for your workout the dangers in taking a pre-workout is that a lot of people become addicted to taking a pre-workout their body and their minds and i want to say their body all right their body becomes addicted to pre-workouts. The reason being is that there's a lot of caffeine in pre-workouts. Generally, there's 300, maybe even 600, depends on how many scoops of protein that you take. I can get more into detail about this kind of stuff later in another video, but I just wanna show you guys how I take a pre-workout. So here in front of me, I have a Performix pre-workout. It is the pre Performix. It is Performix Ion V2X. I got it on sale at GNC. It was just 36.74, which is a pretty good deal. Keep in mind there is 35 servings, so it's probably around a dollar serving. It's a lot cheaper than buying retail. So keep in mind the price of coffee nowadays is around, what, two bucks? I don't even know, I never buy coffee from a coffee shop. I could just make it for free. And with pre-workouts, it's generally shooting around dollar up per scoop, per serving, I guess you could say. So you're spending around a dollar, two dollars per pre-workout scoop. That's besides the point of this video. So guys, one scoop of this has 320 grams of caffeine. That's equivalent to two cups of coffee. One scoop of coffee is 80 milligrams. Two scoops is 160. So this is three scoops of coffee in one scoop of this. Or three servings of coffee in one scoop of this. That's a lot of caffeine. The normal person just needs one cup of coffee to get their boost for the day. But this is a super dose of caffeine. So here's what I do, all right? Here's what I do. Take a shaker, open it up. There's water in here, by the way. And then I take half a scoop, all right? Unfortunately, this thing is like a brick. So I have to like scrape the crap out of this thing. I'm gonna just take half a scoop. This is half a scoop, take my word for it. Half a scoop, so half of 320, that is... <coughs> 60, 160, no. 150 is 300, half of 300 is 150, so 160. Yeah, this is 160 milligrams of caffeine. Wait, what can I do math right now? 320 divided by two. Yeah, 160, I was right. So 160 milligrams of caffeine, right here. Whoa, that means there was actually four servings of coffee in one scoop of this. That's pretty crazy. So 160 milligrams of caffeine in here, that's equivalent to two cups of coffee. And that's kind of like the average, right? That's like the, the average normal amount of caffeine that people take per day. Um, here's the thing, guys. I just take half a scoop of pre-workout before my workout. And that's how I've been not becoming addicted to it. Or that's how I've become not reliant on pre-workouts. I only take a pre-workout when I mentally feel like I need the boost. All right? And the thing is, don't take the full serving of a pre-workout. All right? Like, a lot of times, it's a high dose of caffeine that your body doesn't need to feel the effects. You don't need a super dose of caffeine to feel the effects of caffeine. Sometimes too much of something is not a good thing. So yeah, that's how I've been taking it. I've been taking just half a scoop of protein, depends on the caffeine content, generally around 160 grams of caffeine per dose or per serving, rather than going for the 300 plus 
milligrams of caffeine that it's asking or recommending you to take. And only take a pre-workout before your workout. Why the hell are you gonna take a pre-workout when you don't even work out? All right, so don't take it on your rest days, like how it says on the, on the whatever, the label. They just want you to run out of it sooner so that you spend more money and buy more of their products. So just take a pre-workout before your workout if you're into taking pre-workouts. If you don't give a shiz about pre-workouts, don't take it, all right? If you don't feel like you need it, you don't need it. All right, pre-workouts are honestly just for the mental edge. A lot of guys think they need it because it kind of inspires them from what they see on Instagram and on the magazines of bodybuilding.com and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, I just like taking pre-workouts because of the flavor. I prefer to drink this over coffee. So yeah, guys, that's my quick video. It's probably not even that quick, but that's my video about how to take a pre-workout without getting addicted to pre-workouts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like my Superman logo on this shaker bottle. But I hope you guys took something from this video, all right? If you guys enjoyed it, comment down below. If you guys have anything to say about it, comment down below. If you guys got questions on fitness, comment down below. Also, add me on Instagram, guys, all right? Feel free to DM me. If you guys got any questions on fitness, um, I make a lot of fitness videos on Gynecomastia. I also make some red pill videos, too. Um, also, no fap. If you don't know what NoFap is, look into it. I highly recommend it. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. As always, God bless you, and have the best day ever.